Hello, how are you? I'm good, how are you? I'm fine, thank you very much. Good. Good afternoon, Sinead. Good afternoon, Mauricio. How are you doing? You all, both, both. <laughs> doing good, doing good. Great, great. So, Christoph, you didn't like the notebook, huh? No. I am a more artificial. <laughs> it's good practice. It's I'm becoming. So be yeah. I did my uh, work on uh, my uh, Google Drive. That's fine. That's fine. No worries. I just, I prefer a notebook. Um, that's how I got through college, was with a notebook and a pen. Um, I didn't have a laptop or anything like that in college. And um, my friends that did have laptops and whatnot would sometimes be in the middle of class and the battery would go out or, you know, something wouldn't work right. So I always, I just always got it in my head. Well, my notebook and my pen's never going anywhere. I'll always have that. So that's why I've always preferred that method um, to take notes. So if I'm not taking notes directly in a book. So. I agree with you, Sinead. It's more useful to, to have a, a notebook and a pen mm -hmm. everywhere, every, mm -hmm. any, any, anywhere, any, any, any time, mm -hmm. anywhere. Mm -hmm. Yep. Yep. I Don't agree. take dry durate <laughs> the gate to a cave and to eat to turn it. <laughs> I even, um, you know, I, I think you guys all know I, I attend church and um, I, I will either write directly in my Bible or I always, I, what I keep is I always keep post-it notes as well um, so that I can take notes that way so I don't really feel like taking a huge notebook to church with me but post-it notes are good too so yeah but. hello Coco hi how are you I'm good what about you I am good I am hi good. everybody hello Coco Coquito <laughs> So Coco, you're confused? Yes, but by the way, I have good news. Uh, just the quiz, I did five on five, okay? They, are, they were all correct. <laughs> Yay! Excellent. Excellent. Very good. Very good. It well, was so simple and clear and great. Good. Yes. Excellent. Excellent. So, Christoph, how did you do on the quiz? Five of five. Nice. And Mauricio? Um, stowaways. <laughs> no, I'm kidding. Oh, show off me. Sorry. Shame on me. Uh, five, five out of five. Five out of five. Five out of five. Good. Good, good. Well, hopefully, Dr. Louise and um, Marcos will join. That you know, uh, the, the the videos are so are so well explained that I, under, I I've understood everything. Excellent. Yes. Excellent. I have. I'll be posting another one after this class, and then I will be posting one tomorrow as well. So, and that will end tomorrow. Will end our. Um, 
fiction lessons for this class, and next week we will start on nonfiction. So let me see if I can track down Dr. Louise and Marcos. And then <laughs> Hold on one second, guys. While we're waiting, do you guys have any questions about anything that you want to want me to cover? Um, Sinead, I have taken maybe four pages. <laughs> good. Yeah. That's good. 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 Using oh. the using the format that I talked about. Not. Yeah. I mean, I'm just a beginner, you know. <laughs> yeah. No, that's fine. Yes. That's fine. Yeah. I actually, I'll show you guys. Um, these are these are some notes when I was um, when I was studying to get my certification to teach um, ESL. Um, I took a lot of notes. This is kind of an example of that. So you can see I still use this to this very day. <laughs> so, yeah, great. Yep. So these are I was gonna try to pull out some of my old ones from college, but I didn't get that ambitious. So um, sometimes sometimes I'll do this. You can see here like okay, so I have like my asterisk and mm -hmm. about Lexis. Lexis means vocabulary. So you can see I actually, what I say in the video is I actually do do. <laughs> so, You're well organized. <laughs> my book I, is, my copy is like a mess. <laughs> no, that's fine. Everyone's always said that I, that my notes are very well organized and I don't know why. Um, but, you know, it is what it is. So, what is this? old Jeopardy questions. I'm really not that well organized. If you could see my office, you would, <laughs> you would see it's a mess. My notes may be well organized, but um, I have a question. Sure. This technique uh, you, we can use for short uh, uh, text. Yeah. No yeah. whole uh, thick uh, uh, book. Like. Oh, yeah. No, you could use it for long text or short text. I mean, it just depends. Um, let's say, okay, so like, um, Christoph, you've been in my Winesburg, Ohio class before, correct? Yes, but they all are short stories. Yes, but they are part of an actual novel. So if I, let's say I wanted to take notes on that, then each section of notes, I would use the title of the short story, but I could keep it all in the same note, notebook. So long, short text, any, I mean, this technique for me personally is universal. I use it for everything. So um, no matter what I'm reading, it's just the way that I've always preferred to keep notes. So. I'm asking about author like uh, Vern or uh, mm -hmm. Ayn Rand. 
Mm -hmm. Yeah, like the Fountainhead. Yes, or yeah. Atlas Shrugged. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've never read Atlas Shrugged, but... Um, oh, he's yeah, fine. Um, yeah, I, Anne Rand, she's a little out there for me. Very, very thick. <laughs> yes, it is. And yeah, and so is the Fountainhead. So if you were to take notes with something like that, what I would suggest is each page of notes, or if you're going to do it like in Google Drive, for each chapter, keep your ch keep each separate chap keep keep the chat there we go keep the chapters separate and either use a different page if you're going to write it in a notebook or use a different document per chapter and then when you save your documents just save them as you know um Atlas Shrug, you know, chapter one, chapter two, chapter three. Just save them in that format so that if you need to go back and look at them, it's really clear and well organized and you can find them very easily. So, yeah. Just keep it, keep it short. So, in sections. So, mm -hmm. what did you guys think about the active reading? Besides the note taking, the idea of asking questions and visualizing and things like that. What do you think of that? Oh, we will see how we get uh, today's game. <laughs> <laughs> so yes. it helps or not? Yes. Yeah, but My, is, oh. Go ahead, go ahead, Mauricio. Uh, it's 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 very useful because with you you use you use the active reading and and and, and, and what and taking notes mm -hmm. and note taking sorry and note taking you uh -huh. can you can understand much better the idea that the authors want to share with the yes. reader. Yes, I completely agree. I completely agree. My favorite active reading strategy has always, and the one that's worked the best for me, has always been visualizing. Um, I love visualizing stories. It's like my absolute favorite thing to do. Um, that's always helped me because when I can see the characters in my mind, when I can see the setting in my mind, imagine you know, the actions that they're taking. Um, for example, like in this, in, in the story that we're reading, uh, To Build a Fire by Jack London, you know, when I read it, I picture in my head, I have an idea of, um, you know, of what this man looks like, you know, with his big bushy red beard. And I imagine his eyes being very dark. And um, I imagine the look that he has on his face as he is, making this journey and I imagine how he has his mittens on and rubs his face or his nose and um, I imagine what the landscape looks like you know just this vastness of of I imagine Poland no I'm just kidding Kristoff um, <laughs> I imagine just this vastness of white and as I'm reading when I can see it in my head it helps me understand a lot better because then it's basically like as I'm reading it's like a movie is playing inside my brain so um, that's a technique that an active reading technique that I've always found incredibly valuable um, that has helped me a great deal so along with the others as well but visualizing is my favorite by the way, uh -huh. I read that and I went out uh, to my garden and I felt this in my bones. <laughs> Did you? Did you? Yeah. <laughs> yes. Absolutely. Absolutely. I think that the other thing that is that is good uh, to visualize is that you can improve your imagination and creativity. Mm -hmm. And, and 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 if you are a good reader, if you don't watch TV or you, you uh, th those images images don't don't in interfere mm -hmm. with your how do you say that with your imagination? Yes, with your imagination, with your characters, with your mm -hmm. uh, with the background, with the back 
frown with everything. Uh huh. Yeah, Terrence. Um, I don't know. Some of you might know Terrence. He takes my short stories class um, every once in a while. He's a really good visualizer. He always um, and he watches a lot of movies and TV and stuff. But he does kind of like what I do as well, which because I watch TV and stuff as well, but not while I'm reading. But um, <laughs> like with Winesburg, Ohio, um, that's okay, Marcos. No worries. Welcome. Um, when we uh, when we're reading Winesburg, Ohio, Terrence will always like mention an actor or an actress that he I know is visualizing in his head of who would be that character. You know, so that's how, and it's it's fun. It's really fun to do that. Yeah. I, I love to do that. Live Winsburg, Ohio. Yeah, he yeah he does. Yeah, he loves it. So, yeah, for sure. So, how are you, Marcos? I'm I'm fine. I always always muted. I'm fine. Thank you. And you? Good. I'm doing good. We missed you yesterday. Uh, uh, I, I'm working. Oh, I'm no. working for for too late. If I could say that. No problem. No problem. So, did you have a chance to watch the video? No, I didn't. I, no. I don't, <laughs> don't see. No. Did you? Did you? Um. Did you do the homework though? Uh, read read the paragraphs for uh huh paragraphs one th one, th yeah. huh? one through twenty paragraphs one through twenty. Yeah. Were you able I read to? I, I read I read until ten. <laughs> until ten. <laughs> until ten. Oh no! Oh, oh no! Uh, uh, <laughs> I'm I'm having really really difficult to. Reading this text, I <laughs> really don't recognize many words. It, it has been difficult to me. That's okay. And that that is one one of the reasons I'm here. Good. Yeah. Well, yesterday we talked a lot about that, and um, yesterday's class actually was uh, really helpful because we. Uh, with the game, uh, everyone got a chance to actually practice the reading techniques as we were playing the game. So they got to practice. Everyone got to practice scanning and um, all of that kind of thing. So um, because I, Coco's had Coco, this text has been uh, difficult for, and Dr. Louise, this text has been, been difficult for. So you're not the only one. Um, but the homework yesterday, because I posted a new video on note-taking and um, active reading, which is another good technique uh, that can help you when you read difficult texts. And I, uh, yeah, so everyone was I, supposed to read 1 through 20. So. I saw it, but uh, I, I couldn't, I couldn't uh, exercise that. That's OK. That's OK. You might, you might be a little behind then, because today's questions for Jeopardy are all from paragraphs 11 through 20. Okay. So, yeah. So, um, let's see. I wonder where Dr. Louise is. He was here yeah. earlier. He was ready. He told me that, yeah, he's going to read it to Kim. I don't know. <laughs> he lost track of the time. Hmm. But you know, Sinead, the next uh, paragraphs are more difficult than the first ones. And well, has more details. Yeah. Yeah, they do. They do have more details. That is for sure. So, um, but just like yesterday, I think you guys understand it more than you think you do. I think you oh. do. I think you understand it more than you than you think. <laughs> I know it does it does give you it does give you that really kind of ooh feeling so for sure for sure well um if anybody doesn't have any if nobody has any more questions um we can go ahead and start
start playing Jeopardy, um, here's the link to the text, because I have no problem if you guys um, keep that open while we play. Um, Uh, can I uh, uh -huh. give you send some uh, emails? No, I haven't. Yeah, no, I haven't sent any emails. No, um, because uh, I searching for spam box, <laughs> and I didn't notice anything. Yeah, no emails. That's only. I I don't know. Um, since I pretty, I mean, I have Marcos. I think. Are you on Facebook, Marcos? Yeah. Yeah, okay. I'm not sure if I'm friends with you on Facebook. Find me on Facebook and make sure that you friend me. Because that's generally how I get in touch with everyone. Um, since the invention of Facebook, I'm very rarely on my email. <laughs> I'm always on Facebook. <laughs> so um, that's just that's the easiest way for me to get a hold of you, if need be. So um, let's see. Hmm. Okay. Well, hopefully, uh, hopefully, Doctor Louise will show up, and if not, then he doesn't. Okay. So same thing like yesterday for the Jeopardy, except you'll notice that the points are doubled. The points are doubled. So Marcos, hopefully, this will be a chance for you to catch up, um, because. I explained yesterday that the games that we play in here, the scores that everybody gets are going to carry on throughout the course of the class. So by the end of the course, um, we will have like a grand prize winner. So right now, Kristoff is in the lead. So uh, Kristoff has uh, 1,950 points. So. Um, and since you weren't here, Marcus, yesterday, I'll explain. So um, we have five categories, 200, 400, 600, 800, and 1,000. Um, the numbers are simply the number of the question. That's really just so I know what question to ask you. And um, we'll go in a circle. We'll start with Coco and just go down the room. And um, if if somebody knows the answer to your question, they can steal it by typing in the first letter of their name in the chat, and they can steal it for half points. Same, and that goes for anybody. So, Marcos, if you know the answer to a question that somebody else gets, you can type in um, an M and uh, steal it from them if they don't know the answer for half the points. Okay. So um, we have fun with this, and um, this will give, again, this is actually really good for all of you. This will give you another chance to practice um, your uh, scanning skills today when, we, when I start asking these questions. So, um, Coco. Oh, God, someone to tell me why I am nervous on my going to have an exam. <laughs> Okay. So All right. Coco, poor Coco. Coco got like the hardest questions yesterday. Yeah. She really did. Every question, it didn't matter what she, what amount she picked, it was hard. So, anyways. All right, Coco. What what would you like, my dear? Uh, well, uh, well, I'm thinking uh, an 800 question, number uh, six. Number six. Okay. All right. Okay, Coco. You <laughs> go on. <laughs> You're just lucky at picking the difficult ones. Okay. Um, when when the man sat to eat his lunch, what happened? Okay, I know that part. Okay. Okay. When he starts eating his lunch. I think that 
there's something about his hands, yes. Uh, oh God. Here it is written. Okay. Um, the the numberness led hold of the exposed fingers. Yes. Yeah. He became. And, yeah. He became uh, numb. Uh -huh. Yes. Yes. His fingers because of the cold. Yes. Yes. He became numb because of the extreme cold. What did he? For, uh -huh. What did he forget to do that made him become numb? Do you remember? Not to put his gloves uh, again. I mean, he was putting some. Uh, how to say that? Meat and or something like that. Mm, no, that's part of it. But he forgot to do something very important before he started to eat his lunch that caused him to become very cold and numb. Oh, this isn't really part of the question because the answer is fine. He did become numb, so you do get your points, but. You you mean the details? But I want to know. I mean, I know I want to. Yes. <laughs> okay. All right. What did he forget to do? What did he? I don't know. I have I have just uh, taken uh, I have taken a note that it also said like uh, uh what he just um uh, he, he I mean he just he couldn't bear the cold uh, just a quarter of a minute like uh, something like that. I mean quarter of a minute. And uh, he just uh, he couldn't eat because of the cold and because of the numb on his uh, fingers. This is the the I mean the note that I have taken. Okay, um. that's a good note. No, that's a good note. Um, Christoph, what did he forget to do? Literally, he had forgotten to build a fire, and that was all. Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, he forgot to build a fire. That's why he got so cold. Um, that's in paragraph 13, by the way. I actually wrote down yes. where each of these questions come from. So that's from paragraph 13. Um, but you still get your 800 points, Coco. Don't worry. Um, Christoph, your turn. Oh, let me guess. 1,008. 1,000. It will be an easy one, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I will be ready. Oh, actually, it's not Coco. Oh, no. <laughs> All right. All right, Christoph. Shut me. <laughs> what did the man do to try and get warm? Um, mm, which... <laughs> He did uh, many for for his face. He, he rubs his face, mm -hmm. uh, but for his body, he was uh, uh, hitting uh, uh, ar uh, arms for his chest. Mm -hmm. What else do you want to know? There's <laughs> what, more. There's walking. actually a dis a dis I was gonna say there's actually a description of it in the story about what he does. Uh, and he was uh, walking uh, five uh, uh, four mile. Can I say can I say something? Yeah, go for it, Coco. <laughs> he put oh. his hand on his chest, and also. He um, he he stuck the fingers a dozen shots smashes against his leg. No. Okay, Mauricio, what were you gonna say? He he ran he ran along he ran along to to try to to hit to to warm their body. Uh, Talking about because, hands. Uh, yes, but but he thought that it wasn't it that it was impossible because at that. At that, at that, how do you say? At that temperature, uh, they couldn't uh, heat their body. So, but they they run. He ran. So. Mm, are we going to take a look at paragraph fourteen? <laughs> paragraph fourteen. So he, okay, he built the fire. fire. 
Yeah, he built the fire. No? 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 He slowed up and down, stamping his feet and thrusting his arm. Yes! yes! It, is, it is a note here! <laughs> <laughs> Yes, Mauricio. Yeah. Yes, yes, so yes. Good. He strode up and down, stamping his feet and threshing his arms until yeah. reassured by the returning warmth. So that's what I was looking for. Uh, that was a difficult one, but you guys complained that they were too easy yesterday, so I made them harder today. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Mauricio, I'll give you half for that since you that's because that's exactly what I have on mine. So Okay, um, Marcos? Oh, let's try. Um, uh, I'm going with 200. Okay. 14. 14. 14? Okay. How long did the man suspect getting wet would delay him? <laughs> How long did the man suspect getting wet would delay him? Uh, oh, I don't know. No? I, I no, Coco? I I, I'm one hour. <laughs> one hour, yes. One hour. Good job, Coco. Sounds like you took a lot of notes, Coco. I can hear you. Yes. Notes. Good for yes. you. Good job. Good job. All right, Mo Mr. Mauricio. <laughs> Well, uh, Shanae, could I have 100, sorry, 1,000? Okay. Th number 13, please. Number 13. Your lucky number. My lucky number, yes. Okay, Mauricio. When the man broke through the ice, how far up did he get wet? How far up his body did he get wet? Um, until until his how do you say that his um, yes <laughs> the, the 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 middle of the of of him no the, the body no no Krista oh do you know it Krista. Uh, I didn't unmute myself. Oh. <laughs> uh, for for his uh, waist. No, no, not his waist. No, not his waist. Coco, do you know? Uh, well, I'm reading. <laughs> uh, halfway to the knees. Yes. <laughs> Nice job, My note. <laughs> See, note-taking helps. Yes, great. I'm, I'm just, oh, God, I'm so happy. <laughs> note-taking helps. Yes, halfway to the knees. That is in paragraph 16. Paragraph 16. Um, Coco, it's your turn. You're on fire, girlfriend. Okay, I'm going to choose 1,000. Okay. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. Let's see how good your notes are. What does the blood of the man resemble? Uh, four miles an hour. Had? I, <laughs> what do you mean? I mean the question, I didn't get it. Okay. But I know that. So yeah. there's, there's a description of the man's blood. And it resembles something else. 
it's like something else in the story. Oh. I'm not sure that I have... Um, I have written... Um, for me to know. Uh, I have written... <laughs> okay, he, he was like... Uh, his pace was uh, far four miles an hour had kept his heart pumping blood to the no, it is not that. No. Not that. No. Uh, it is in the paragraph number 10, right? No, paragraph 19. Uh, I mean, yeah, 19. Uh, 19. It even, okay, so think of it this way, the uh, the blood of the man is like what? The, the dog. Yes, the dog, yes. Oh, is that the, the answer? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Sinead, what was the, the verb, the verb you used? Like, like the dog, like the no, dog. No, no. Oh, oh, oh no, resemble, it resemble. Resemble, it is resemble. like Resemble. Resemble means like. Yeah, what is what is the blood of the man like? What is the blood of the man oh. resemble? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, Christoph? So, give me the last thousand. Okay. <laughs> Okay, Christoph, what was the man's attitude about traveling alone? Happy to. Um, he, he, he was faster than traveling uh, with people. Yes, well, about this. <laughs> Look at the text. Look at the text. He actually says he has a thought. It's it's a thought about what he thinks about traveling alone. Mm -hmm. I was thinking this is not a not, not an important point. <laughs> Everything's important. Mm. Uh, you are talking about. He was thinking, up, um, or uh, he was told by uh, old man. It comes right after that. Yeah, the old man tells him something, and then yes, he told him that the law that uh, no man must travel alone in the Klondike after uh, uh, fifty below. Uh huh. And so uh, what is so? Uh, he was, uh, after that, he was mocking uh, this uh, scoff of old-timer. Uh-huh. Um, because man uh, was uh, convinced he can do that, because he makes fire alone. Yeah. I'll, I'll, paragraph I'll... Of, uh, 20, yes? What the yes, yeah, 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 it's paragraph 20. Yeah, it is paragraph 20. Um, travel, any man who was a man could travel alone. Yes, there you go, yes. Ah, ah. Yes. No, he was mocking old man, he is not a man. Exactly. He's a girl. Right, yeah, he thinks that the old timers are rather girly, because he thinks in his head... Well, any man who's a man can travel alone. All you have to do is keep your head about you. Yeah. He says, um, where did it go? Um, all a man had to do was to keep his head, and he was all right. Any man who was a man could travel alone. Yeah. Yep. Good job, Christoph. Okay, Marcos?
Oh, I wasn't much. You, again. No worries. Can I have another 200? Sure. Nine, please. Give me the one nine. Where did the man get his firewood? It's in paragraph 14. Paragraph 14. You see it. On top tangled in the <laughs> underbrush about the trunks of several small groups. Yeah. yeah, the undergrowth. Yeah, exactly. Yes. Yes. Yes, exactly. Eight. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yep, it says, um, from the undergrowth where high water of the previous spring had lodged a supply of seasoned twigs, he got his firewood. Uh huh. Yep. Yep, yep. Good. Good, good. Um, I'll, let me screen share this with you guys real quick. Oops. So, yep, paragraph 14 right here. Mm hmm Good. Good, good. Okay, Mauricio? Uh, Sinead, please. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, um then can you, can you let me see the oh, 18 oh sorry uh 15 15 number 15 please okay mauricio how did the man work to build the fire and why Uh, can you repeat the question, please? Mm -hmm. How did the man work to build the fire, and why? Uh, well, he worked. He worked carefully from a small beginning, and he soon had a roaring fire. Why did he do that? Ah, uh, because he 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 had he didn't have any any matches. No. Oh no. <laughs> no. No, you got the carefully part. You got the carefully part. Oh no. Why did the man work carefully? Why did he work carefully? Because uh, ah! oops. Because, because, he, because he he was working with tweaks oh. and wet tweaks. So, no, no, no. no. Coco, do you know? Um, I think because he knew that. Uh, I'm not sure about that. But tell me the paragraph, and I tell you if it is the. the okay, I'm everyone. Sure. Everyone can find this in paragraph 18. Paragraph oh, 18. This is a because, fire. Yeah, circulation, yeah. something like that. Yeah, okay. Because he uh, knew that, uh, or he knows that uh, when he has, uh, I mean, his feet wet and he or, and freezing, he, will, he cannot be uh, restored by running. 
okay? And uh, no matter he runs, I mean, he will not uh, restore the circulation. But if, uh, but with the dry feed, uh, he can run along the trail for maybe half a half a mile, and he will restore his circulation. No. No. That's true. That's that's all true. But why? Why did he work carefully? Why did he have to work so carefully to build this fire? Can I say? Oh, Marcos, do you know? I think because it was his first attempt to build a fire. Yes, and what's important about that? There's um, something important about it being his first attempt. What did he have to make sure happened on good. his first attempt? Could I say? Because so, oh. his feet are, were wet. Yes. Is this about, is this you guys about are like, you're the dancing flame? all around it. You're dancing no. all around it. Is it about the flame? Um, no, Mark, Marcos is closer. Marcos is closer to the answer about it being his first attempt and his feet being wet. The, the, the weather, the temperature, temperature um, it was 75 below zero. Right, right. But... Kristoff? Uh, okay. Uh, he knew there must be no failure. Yes! Yes, exactly, yes. Marcos, you were so close, yes. It was his first attempt, and because his feet were wet, he could not fail on his first try of building the fire. If he failed, what would happen? He will, yeah. he will not restore the circulation of, yeah, the circulation. He would freeze. He yeah, he would freeze. He would freeze to death. Yes, he would yeah. freeze. Yeah. yeah, he would freeze to death. Yeah. You guys make it so much harder. <laughs> you would freeze. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, let's see. That was, what was what that one? For 800? I don't know. I think I'm going to give, I'm going to oh. give Marcos, I'm going to give Marcos 200, and I'm going to give Kristoff 200, and I'm going to give Mauricio 200, because all of you are, like, right around it. All of you had parts right. <laughs> okay. Um, whose turn is it? Um, Coco. Coco. Oh, no, yes, Coco, Coco. Yeah, Coco's turn. Okay, an 800 uh, question number seven. Number seven. Okay. okay, Coco, what did the man do when the man from Sulphur Creek warned him about the cold? Okay. He, uh... He <laughs> he laughed a lot at him, and uh, he scoffs. Yes, exactly. Yep, he laughed. Yep. Coco's kicking some, you know what? <laughs> today. I studied hard, so yeah. Good, Coco. I'm proud of you. Today's morale. Taking notes. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. Yes, take notes. Take notes. Take notes are important. Um, Krzysztof. So, last eight. Last hundred eleven. Krzysztof, I believe if you were in Vegas, you would be a gambler. <laughs> no. No? Oh. What, if, what if you had lots of money? Would you gamble? If you were like, no? A, no? no. Oh, so fun. Gambling is a blast. Okay, Kristoff, tell me, what was the relationship between the dog and the man? Mm. 
uh, so uh, man was uh, uh, how to say fire provider <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, dog uh, uh, was appreciate that but no uh, support of the man more I don't know what <laughs> because uh, a dog is uh, uh, for few paragraphs and I don't know what do look you in, want look, to look in paragraph hear. look in paragraph 15 paragraph 15 mm. The dog, uh, uh, one of the hand, uh, there was no kin uh, intimacy yes. between dog and uh, man. Yes. Uh, yes, yes, there was no keen intimacy between the dog and the man. The dog was more of a what? A a Can I say, or Mr. Christoph? Let's see if Kristoff can find it. What 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 was the dog to the man? Uh, it was like a staff. <laughs> like a what? Yeah, like, like a slave. A toy yeah. slave. Yeah, like a slave. Yeah. So there is like stuff, like uh, something. Yeah, like an object. Yeah, it wasn't like he was his pet, like my dogs that are in here mm. all the time. Yeah, this this dog was meant for work. You know, he needed, yeah, he was a toil slave. Yeah, exactly. He, so he just worked for the man. He uh, wasn't, the man didn't, there was no love, basically. There was yeah. no love between this yeah. dog and... I have some fragment where there wasn't a love. There was yeah, there was no yeah, there wasn't any love. Yeah. So okay. Marcos. Um, can I have four hundred ten? Ten's a good number. Which direction of the fork did the man take? Which direction of the fork did the man take? Which, which direction? Say that again? Which direction? Yeah, which direction? Which direction of the fork did the man take? Just choose the hand. It is easy, we have two directions. Yeah, but if he chooses the wrong one... <laughs> but if this is 50%? Yeah, it is a 50-50 question. It takes, it takes left. Yes! Yes! <laughs> yes! Yes! Good, Marco! Yeah. Good! <laughs> yes! Good! All right, Mauricio! Oh, um, can I have a for 16, number 17? For 600, you mean? Oh, sorry, sorry, yes. For 617. Okay. Please. Hey, Mauricio, 
what part of the man's body was the first to suffer from the cold? Um, Paragraph 19. Ah, mm. uh, the yeah, I know, the yeah. um, the uh, his his fingers, his hands. What do we call those? What um, um, he had all this is um numb. Go yes. Numb. Go numb. Yeah. Mm hmm. And and the fingers had quickly go numb. Uh huh. Keep reading. Uh, <laughs> and uh, what? Uh, and he forced to remove his mittens. Uh huh. Uh, what do we call like the fingers? The toes, your nose, your ears. The word is there. It's there. <laughs> Quit, go, go numb. Go numb. No? No. That's not, a, that's not a part of the body. What part of the body was the first to suffer from the cold? Ah, the blood. The blood. No. 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 It's towards the end of the paragraph. Towards the end of that paragraph. Mm. Uh, begun to freeze. Freeze. No. Sorry. No. Uh, ah. Uh, uh, chilled. No, a part of the body, Mauricio, a part of the body, a part of the body. A part of the body? Yes, which part of the man's body was the first to suffer from the cold? Ah, oh, the skin. Ah, oh, the skin. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, sorry. It's the same question as the Vatican. <laughs> Coco, do you know? I know, but I think I have to give a chance to Marcos. Okay, oh, Marcos, yeah. do you know? Uh... Now I'm thinking, I, I really don't know, but I, I will try his cheeks. His cheeks? No. Yeah. I okay. I read that. No. Coco? Toes, yeah. No. Yeah, they are. No, they aren't. <laughs> no, they aren't. Oh, 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 I know, I know. You know, Marcos? The, the extremities. Yes! Yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, exactly. All right. Look, look at this. Yeah, look, look. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The extremities were the first to feel yeah. its absence. The extremities yes. were the first to feel its absence. Yes. yes, the extremities. Extremities are the fingers, the toes, your ears, your nose, anything that's, you know, Pointing yeah, yeah. out of your body that's exposed yeah. to the cold. Yes, yes. So, what was that? Was that six? Was that for six hundred? Yes, six hundred. Good, Marcus. All right. Okay, Coco. Oh, my turn. Of course, six hundred. Number number twelve. Number twelve. How long did the man go without seeing any signs of a spring? Oh, oh. How, here I'll type it. How long did the man go without seeing any signs of a spring? Okay. I don't really I know it's mm. 
Oh my god. Paragraph 16. Okay. How long did the man go without seeing any signs of a spring? Um, Mauricio? Uh, for half an hour. Yes! For oh, half yeah. an hour! <laughs> <laughs> All right, Christoph. Oh, let's play six hundred five. Okay. What time of day was the brightest? Mm, uh, Noon. Noon, yes. Yeah. <laughs> we need our we need our Google effects back. <laughs> um, Marcos. Four hundred number four, please. When the man suspected danger, what did he do? When the man suspected danger, what did he do? He completed the dog to go on front. Say that again. I think you got it right. Just say it for me. One of the dog to go on from. Yeah, he he made the dog go first. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, he made the dog go first. Yeah. And this is what I mentioned: the man and dog doesn't lo love each other. Yeah. No. Yeah. And did the dog was the dog like, okay, master, I'll go first, or no? No. Yeah, no, no. He, the dog was not too happy about it. He makes some resistance. <laughs> yes, he, yes, he was very resistant. Um, Mauricio. Uh, number three, please. Number three. Which direction did the man decide the flow of water came from? Hmm. Which direction did the man decide the flow of water came from? You have you have stolen my points. I will steal your points. Coco, <laughs> <laughs> if you know, I don't know. I don't know. Coco? Right. Yes, from the right. Oh. From the right. How much was that? Six. That was for six hundred, right? Yes. Okay, Coco. Okay. Oh, okay. Four hundred eighteen. Eighteen. Ooh. What would the man rub his feet with as he sat by the fire? Rub his feet with mm -hmm. as he sat in the fire. What would the man rub his feet with as he sat by the fire? <laughs> 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 
Marcus is going to steal your points. <laughs> no, I know it. Um, <laughs> A uh, feed uh, gear, something like that. Huh? A feed gear? No, nope. no, nope. Marcos. Um, I believe it. Something Stop. opposite you think. Yeah, you wouldn't think he would rub his feet with this. It starts with M? No. No. Okay, so I don't know the answer. Do you know, Marcos? Something surprising. <laughs> uh... Well, I, I don't believe it, but uh, but I think it it it, it is with snow. Snow, yeah, yeah. with snow, yes, <laughs> yes. Snow. It is, I, I just can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, is that a survivor technique? Yes, uh, it is. Yes, it is. Just like yeah. um, you're actually warmer. Uh, like you know how in the story, um, the dog is kind of always thinking how um, this would be a good time to crawl in a hole in the snow. Mm -hmm. It's actually warmer in the snow than it is exposed to the air. That's why you would rub your feet with snow. So, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. Okay, Kristoff. So, maybe one. Number one. It's sorry. It's the same way you eat an ice cream in the in the winter. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, even okay, Christoph. Even though the man's mind was empty of thoughts, he was what? Mm -hmm. Mind was empty. Mm -hmm. Even though the man's mind was empty of thoughts, he was what? It's in paragraph 11. Uh, what was... Uh, he was... Uh, uh, ah, I know. Empty as the man's mind was or thought, he was uh, keenly observant. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, Marcos. Number two, please. Number two. What was the man afraid of while walking by the creek? Um. Paragraph 11. What was the man afraid of while walking by the creek? Oh God. Mauricio? He knew that the coldest snaps never froze these springs, and he knew likewise their danger. He, okay, can you put it in your own words? Exactly uh, what he's afraid he, of? He was afraid of the coldest snaps. No. 
<laughs> oh my god. The Krista? He was afraid he fall into the um. uh, water trap. Yes, yes, he was afraid. Yeah, what that what that passage means is that he was afraid that the ice would break and he would fall in. That's what he's afraid of. So yes. All right, Mauricio, here's your chant. Uh Okay, that one, please. Number 19. We've already talked about this, so I think you'll know this one. What did the man at Sulphur Creek warn this man about? Oh. Uh. Uh, about how cold uh, the the country the get the country gets sometimes. That's part of it. What's the other thing he warned him about? Mm. Paragraph twenty, the last oh, paragraph okay. we read. Uh huh. Twenty. To yes, to yes, keep yes, his neck yes, feet warm by the fire. No. Uh, no. 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 Maybe I can say something. I'm not sure, but I'm not sure. Are you read that? Yeah, it was one. Yeah, I had another question that was similar to this that Christoph read from this. Ah, uh, yes, that. Could I say? Yeah. yeah okay. Sure. That that no man must travel alone. Yes. <laughs> yes. This is, yes. This is a clue of this you, story. Yeah. You have told us about that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. All right, guys. Good job. Okay. So. The most important to, sentence in this story. Yes. <laughs> so today's big winner is Coco. With right. 35. And then Christoph. Christoph, I'm using a abbreviation of your name. Christoph with 2,900. Marcos. 1,700. Not bad, Marcos, for not reading. Really, really not bad. <laughs> yes. And 1,200 for Mauricio. So. If we add that to yesterday, let me grab my calculator. Um, let's see. Christoph, you are now at forty-eight. Whoops, forty-eight fifty. Coco you are at forty one fifty um Dr. Louise, since he wasn't here today, stays at nine hundred. Marcos, you are since you weren't here yesterday, you are at 1700 and Mauricio you are at 2300 so first place is still Kristoff second place is Coco third is Mauricio Fourth is Marcos, and fifth is Dr. Louise for now. So, all right, guys. We'll have another game on um, Monday. And um, I will be posting um, day four's video um, as soon as class is over. And this, for those of you who find this reading difficult, and feel like your nose is stuck more in a dictionary than it is um, in the story. Today's 
tip will be very helpful for you, and it's on context clues, context clues, and how to use them. So um, I will post that video as soon as we close here, and then I will post the quiz. Make sure you do the homework because tonight you're to read everything. Um, we don't have a hangout tomorrow, but tomorrow morning I will be posting another video and another quiz and something for you guys to do um, to help with t tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video is on summarizing, and if you guys can... If you can organize your own hangout for all of you to get together and practice summarizing, that's what I would really love you to do. Um, but I understand every, you know, I understand for some of us it's a holiday weekend and blah blah blah. So, but um, at least make sure you watch the videos. And if you can't get together with each other to practice summarizing, make somebody at your house listen to you. So. Um, Good job today, guys. Um, if you guys have any questions, feel free to let me know on Facebook or on the um, course page. Marcos, I went ahead and um, accepted your friend request, so we're all good there. And I will see you guys on Monday at this same time. So, good job, Thank guys. Thank you, guys. Thank you, Shine. Thank you so Bye, much. guys. We'll Bye. see you soon. Bye. Congratulations, Coco. Congratulations. Yeah, good job, Coco. <laughs> Thank you. And Marcos, I'm impressed. Oh, before we go, Marcos, did you, since you didn't read, um, I'm curious to know, when you would find the answers to the questions, were you using scanning? Um, I'm using um, contact oh, okay. called uh, Control F. And scanning. <laughs> and, <laughs> nice, yeah. Very good, yes. So, um, yes, you'll notice that scanning becomes quite a helpful technique when you have to find something on, you know, on the fly. So, all right, guys. Um, again, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. And I'll see you guys soon. So, bye, guys. See you. Bye -bye. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you very much. Thank you.